Well, all right, my friends, let's go into the gorgeous Castro Theater. Trevor's tour climaxes with a light show like no other in what she calls the Castro Cathedral. Get ready. Look all around. Isn't this wonderful? Beautiful. Isn't it wonderful? I just love it. Y'all want to come in and have a seat? Isn't that fabulous? Isn't that fabulous? My heart is in my throat. It really, it really is. Now, Gays went to the Opera House. They went to the Symphony Hall. But were they out while they were there back in the 50s and the 60s? No, of course not. But all of a sudden, we were openly, publicly gathering in this palatial movie theater as ourselves. And we were out and open and proud. I hope gay people feel affirmed. I hope they feel less isolated, and I hope they feel proud. Every night, a flaming queen plays that organ. <laughs> <laughs> and as he plays, it rises up to stage level, and he plays about a 15-minute concert. And then the last song is always, San Francisco, open your golden gate as it goes back into the orchestra pit. I hope straight people feel more comfortable and I hope they feel uh, that they have gained a body of information that is real instead of simply all that they've ever been exposed to. Gays and lesbians have walked the earth since time began. We did not spring full bloom from a rock during the Stonewall Riots in 1969. <laughs> and that we have a very rich history. And I think learning our history is an affirming and validating experience. And, you know, if you don't learn your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And I want you now to all go out there and cruise this Castro on your own and have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>